Hi guys, I'm Christy Carlson Romano. I'm Brendan Rooney. And this is Bucket List Bistro. We said it twice because it's so nice. <laughs> we're so happy that you're here in our kitchen and that we're gonna bring this amazing dish to you. It comes from Colombia. Hold up. I what? have been told by people who have lived there that it is pronounced Colombia. Sorry, Colombia. Colombia, not yes. Colombia. Yes. We are making arepas. That's right. We're super excited. Our sister-in-law, her brother's yes. wife, Lived there for a very long time, mm -hmm. and uh, she made this dish for us one day, and we're like, whoa. Yeah, blew our minds. <sighs> and from what I'm told by my sister-in-law and my brother, that they are something that are eaten with almost every meal. They're something that's always on the table, but what you can put in them is different. So like in Venezuela, you put meat, but in Colombia, you put what, veggies? Eggs, I think. I think eggs, eggs and cheese or something like yeah. that, right? First things first. Let's make the arepa dough. Yeah, what do we gotta do? So, we've got our warm water, and then we have our pre-cooked milled corn. This is really important that it is pre-cooked. Right. It is It is not the arepa that they know and love there, unless it is pre-cooked corn. Is this sugar? No, this is salt. Ah, salt. Yeah, it's salt. By the way, Colombia is known to have like beautiful emeralds, which yeah. is partly the reason why my sister-in-law worked there. She's an amazing jeweler. She designed our wedding ring. And she also designed a ton of beautiful emerald pieces. That yes. was sort of her specialty. So she was down there and I just found that so fascinating that, that, that they have such beautiful fine stones there. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and mix the cornmeal with the salt. We're gonna make a well for the water to go into and mix it around. It just helps them combine better. This looks great. So we will let this sit once it is fully combined so that it becomes more of like a dough paste. All right, so now what we're gonna do, we're making like a filling for the arepa. We have seasoned this chicken and we have chicken stocks. Go ahead and pour this in there. I will tell you who you don't wanna piss off, Colombian women. She is tough, she's feisty, and she knows she's how to salsa. She's and feisty. Colombia is the home of salsa. Really? Uh, yes, that's why we salsa I thought we were just being like cheeky. No, no, Cali is the uh, epicenter of salsa, and it is- California? The, no, it's called Cali. It's one of the main cities, destinations in, um, in Colombia. Get out! I'm thinking though that when we go to Colombia, we will definitely be hitting up Cartagena, definitely hitting up the beach. The vibe there is so relaxed and so chill from what I hear. The I can't food is wait. so beautiful. The year 2072, yeah. we're totally gonna go when things are back tomorrow. Oh man, well, for now we can eat arepas and we can enjoy the tastes of Colombia. We're going there via our, our minds. minds. All right, so let's put the chicken in. Chicken's going in the pot. I actually really have always wanted to go to Colombia. 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 I've always wanted to go to Colombia. Let let loose like like think of Sofia Vergara and the way she speaks. Oh, if she's there, I'm going. All right, so that's gonna go ahead and get cooked, and then once that's ready to go, we'll just shred it. Let's talk about what we want to do in Colombia. Do okay. we want to go Look to- Look at it, it's got a nice boil. Do we want to go to the snow-capped volcanoes? Ooh, snap. Do we want to go to the Amazon, like, river or the rainforest? I'm thinking volcanoes equal death. <sighs> rainforest equals mosquitoes. This seems like a miss all You know the way what's around. so sad is that before we were parents, we absolutely would have said, Colombia, what's the craziest stuff we could have done? Let's do it, let's get exciting. And now I'm like, is there a pack and play at the lobby? Now we've got the arepa dough ready to go. We're gonna ball it up. We're gonna do like eight. Go ahead, put the, the oil in, babe. Guys, this is a bit too small. I thought maybe this would work, but you need to be able to cut in between so that food can go in it, and it's not like it's baking or anything. So we'll go ahead and pan fry these fritters. Pan fry and fritters. Cool. Now we're just gonna let that do its thing. And I think we could take this chicken out in the interim, yeah, let's give it a little shred skaruski. Let's do it. Let's All right. Ha! It's time to get our chicken. Let's shred this sucker. Mmm, yummy. Boom. 
Now you are way better at whatever this is than I am. So. I'm gonna give it a shot, but I like this particular fork I use for shredding things in the kitchen. Uh, this is gonna get messy. Look at that. It's like that. Look at, we finished doing the chicken. We're just gonna look at these real quick. Pam. Ooh, they look good. Oh wow, they look perfect. Yeah. It shouldn't take too much longer. While this finishes up, we've got our avocado, lime, mayo, peas, garlic and onion, which we're about to cook here in just a second when these are done. But while we wait, I wanna see your best salsa dance. Let's have a little dance off. Fine. Ready? Yeah, you start. Me? Yeah, a what? age before beauty. Okay, give me a little like salsa beat. Is that really your best? Oh, she's talking that junk. All right, you Let's see what you got. Your turn. Hey. Oh, we're dancing. This is just an excuse to get me to dance with you. Whoa. Okay, so let's take these off. I think they're ready. Cool. Yeah. I'm just gonna fly them over here. Okay. You love me? Are you? You are my. You're my. I'm your emerald. You are. You are the light of my life. Oh. Are okay. you kidding? So I just needed to hear that. Um, <laughs> we're gonna put more, we gotta put more Onions oil. Onions first. No, but oil. This is the filling of the arepa. That's good. What is the best smell you can possibly have in the kitchen? Onions and garlic. Done. Get the garlic in, huh? Okay, so now that we've got the onions and the garlic doing their thing, we're gonna put the chicken in. Give me that chicken. You ready, baby? All right, shake it. Yeah, let's do it. Oh boy, I am making more of a mess than you usually do, babe. We're gonna mix the rest of the goodies right on in. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna dump in the avocado, so let's Ooh. mash that up. Can I throw some stuff in? Mm-hmm, mayo. And like... some lime. All right. Let's put the peas in now. You don't wanna put them in too early because then they will get mashed up. Gentle, gentle, like a gentle folding turn. in of something. How about a little salt and pepper? Yeah, it looks super tasty and fresh. Kind of very much feels like a beachy kind of food to me. You know, I, I feel like with the lime and the avocado and the chicken, it's like a really tasty little... Beach treat. Yeah. This mixture is called Reina Pepiata, and we're very excited to add it to our little corn fritters. It looks like Pac-Man. Now, you don't want to cut it. You could, I guess, but you don't want to cut it all the way through, right? So that no, you can you cut got, a, you need like a hot pocket, like you stuff it. Boom. Okay. Look at that. Cheers. Cheers to Colombia. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. This right here, incredible. It's really good. You gotta make it. You gotta make it at home. Mmm. Oh my goodness. Mm. Oh my gosh, guys, that was so, so tasty. I'm so looking forward to this trip to Colombia when we can actually go there safely. It's gonna be so magical. And maybe we will do something adventurous. I don't know. But until then, we have this beautiful recipe that you guys can try at home. Make it, throw on some salsa music, surprise the fam, do something awesome. And then you know what you gotta do? Gotta check out Bucketless Bistro on Taste of Fox. Come on back now. Hey, don't forget your passports. Wanna make this dish yourself? Check out the full recipe in the description.